Oh my god, you need to try this, so good. Like, I'm not joking. Is that good? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making something that I am super curious about. I'm really excited to try and make cauliflower steaks. So we're making steaks out of this uh, cauliflower head. And I've seen uh, people posting about this, I've seen it on Instagram, I've seen it everywhere and uh, now it's my turn to try it. It looks so yummy and I love cauliflower so this can only go one way and that is fantastic. Well, I don't know because I've never tried it. I'd like to take the opportunity to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel and ring that little notification bell next to the subscribe button, that way you will always be the first one to know when I posted a new video. I post videos every week on here. So it seems like making these uh, cauliflower steaks is pretty straightforward. So what we're going to start with is uh, chopping down. We're gonna slice it down. Uh, the parts that we're actually going to use today are these ones, which are like holding together. They're actually smaller than I thought, so uh, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. It's those pieces that we're going to use. So from one whole uh, like head of cauliflower, there was only actually three parts that is holding together. The rest of the um, cauliflower, which is uh, you know like bouquets, uh, we are not going to waste. Of course, you can make. Um, buffalo cauliflower out of these or put them in a stew or a soup or a chili or you know just fry them up in some vegan butter they will taste amazing you know and also this that we peeled off the cauliflower do not throw that away either because this tastes great this it's I don't know why people throw it away you can have it in a soup in a stew in a curry in a chili you know, just chop it down. We're not wasting any food on this channel. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make a little like uh, rub marinade before we uh, pop this these um, cut cutlets uh, on the, the grill. We're going to use three ingredients, which is some oil, some agave syrup, and some barbecue spice or like barbecue rub. Um, like barbecue frying pan and this will be great to fry these um, cauliflower steaks in because then hopefully there will be like this uh, ruffled pattern on them uh, however if you don't have a frying pan like this you can just fry them in a regular pan but you can also just pop them in the oven It's really smoky in here. <laughs> it's definitely smelling like barbecue. Uh, gonna pop these in the oven just for like five, maybe 10 minutes. Just want them to be like cooked through. I got these uh, like potato, uh, someone told me off for calling them potato waffers on Facebook or wherever it was, but uh, potato squares, that's what they're called when you buy them. Uh, I got these and I thought I'll just pop them in the oven because uh, maybe it's nice to have like something with the steak. To go with uh, these cauliflower steaks and potato squares or waffles or whatever you want to call them, I thought we should make like a little herb sauce type of thing. like. Um, I have seen people posting uh, pictures of this uh, cauliflower steak with chimichurri, I think it's pronounced. Uh, but I don't have all the ingredients for that at home, but it's going to be something similar. So we'll use like a lot of fresh cilantro, which I bought at the veggie market here uh, in the suburb of Stockholm. I thought we should use uh, 
a little red onion, this little lime, some fresh garlic, you know, can never get uh, too much of that. Uh, and some, um, I was thinking some chili, but uh, I got some uh, red peppers instead, so we'll use those really finely chopped. And uh, yeah, just blending that together with uh, some olive oil. And then we have like a little herb uh, dressing sauce kind of thing that we can drizzle over those um, cauliflower steaks once, once they come out of the oven. Okay, this smells pretty good. Guys, it's ridiculous how excited I can get about trying new things when it comes to food. All the colors is just amazing. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Wow. I'm so excited. They look so nice. a lot easier than I thought so there was actually only one like cutley that turned out like a perfect I'm not sure how to um, perfect that maybe cutting them in bigger chunks the one piece that uh, that looks good it looks really good oh my oh my goodness this is so good it's like a punch in the face with flavors it's so yummy the cauliflower is like it's got this sticky like sweet barbecue feeling and because I fried it in that uh, raffle pan first I think that kind of gave it like a really smoky and deep flavor and this herb sauce that I made to drizzle over is just like all the flavors in one go that I like it's like guys if you're making one thing this week try this it's, it's so yummy I mean Although I'm a little disappointed about that it was only one cutlet that kind of looked perfect, I'm making this definitely a hundred times again. I can't believe I didn't try it before. These flavors are so intense that I think it's going to be perfect to have those potato squares with it. You could have it as a side if you wanted, but I think this is too good to have as a side. This should be like the main. And then you have like maybe potatoes, fried potatoes. You could have sweet potato fries with it. You could even have mashed potato with this. I just want to turn off the camera so I can um, eat. You have to just go home and buy cauliflower and just make this straight away. Just do it now, okay? If you want to see more videos like the one you just saw, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. Until I see you again, have a good one. Bye guys. <laughs>